Well, good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. You have the Rhino, you have the other husband, the Reverend's behind the camera. He'll join us once. Uh, yeah, he'll join us shortly. Uh, so this is from Radical Road Brewing Company. Radical Road Brewing Company is one of the brewers at Black Oak. Ooh. It's his uh, side project. He brews it at Black Oak, so it's from Etobicoke. Uh, yeah, this is the Wayward Sun. Now, uh, we haven't opened the box yet. Pardon me for one second. It's there. a beautiful it's a, box. It is a beautiful box. Very yeah. religious feeling. Yeah. Crusaderish. Yes. Well, the Wayward Sun. Well, you actually... Turn it? Yeah. Not just that. If you look at their hats, because they're wearing the old the Roman style or uh, Italian style halos, too. Yeah. So it's actually That's, an angel. Yeah, it's all stained glass. So like what do we have here? This is a Belgian style golden ale, matured in Pinot Noir barrels. Now that makes me excited because I love barrel aged beers, but I've wanted people to do different than bourbon. Bourbon all the time. barrels. Because yeah. bourbon is what everybody uses, bourbon and whiskey. So when I see cognac barrels and I see rum barrels and I see Pinot Noir barrels, I get but a little excited. You're talking about fine wine. Too. Yes. Yeah. But even if you don't end up liking it, you've tried something different. Well, yes. no, it's not. You're stepping I mean, out of the box. That should translate into a Belgian style well, beer very well. 7.5% alcohol by volume. What do we have on here? Um, Rebelliousness has led you here. Well, hopefully, it's not a revolt. And to those of you who have uh, handpicked this truly unique beer, we have to. We yeah. at Radical Road <laughs> salute you. Well, sure Our you wayward like son is a Belgian style golden ale that has been matured in Ontario vineyard Pinot Noir. Oh, well, that lost it for me. I thought it was actual real Pinot and Noir. Deftly blended to imbue notes of sour cherry, honey, bitter orange. Oak and spice. The result is a complex From offering wine, with a wayward Ooh, spirit. A uh, fuel for a revolution. Uh oh. Now another revolting. Yeah, another revolt. Artistry by Glenn Davis Group. Oh, cool, though. Now, if this beer tastes good, I'm super excited. It has potential to be so good. And these are the guys that the first beer we've had by them, I didn't like. That was the. Uh, the Scotch ale in whiskey barrels that tasted like oh, yeah. a uh, railway tie. Yeah. Beer, I don't know how easily it's going to be to open because it has that giant neck. Yeah, there's a problem. There we go. Now, if that was cork sealed, I'd have been impressed. Hey, we've seen it before. It yeah, we have it. seen it before where we opened it yeah. and it's corked underneath. Well, fuck, there was one that was, had the. Uh, like the melted wax on top the of the cap, cap and then, and then the cork. I remember watching him do the review because the funniest part of the review is him trying to open that fucking uh, thing. Like 17 minutes oh, of the yeah. review, which is that. Do you have your cup? Yeah. Oh, yes, this cup. Whoa. Yeah, it's got mm -hmm. a lot of carbonation to it. Yeah, very, very heavy. It should. Oh, science. Meniscus. <laughs> Viscous or meniscus? Meniscus. That's a cool word. I'll have yeah, to use that tomorrow so. somehow on my tour. Uh, I don't know where I'll work it in, but it must be somewhere. Alrighty, it looks beautiful. I mean, it is a golden ale. It's hazy. The tiny little bubbles, too, eh? Yes. Very foamy. Nice head. Not, uh, not filtered the way it should be. Uh, not very viscous, though. I mean, look at that. It kind of just lets go of the side. That is weak, eh? Well, I'm still dealing with a lot of head. You always deal with a lot of head. Touche, sir. Touche. Oh, that smells beautiful. I know, it smells amazing, doesn't it? I can't really smell a lot of the head yet. I am picking up lemon, I'm picking up some orange, uh, oak. I'm picking up the oak, no problem. I'm getting the dryness in the smell from the, uh... Now, it talked about honey. I'm not smelling honey. You might be able to taste it. You probably it. won't, because that would be... The other flavors would so overpower the honey. That's where you're going to get your sweetness. Uh, to take the bitterness out of it, the sweetness is going to do that. The honey will tone it down just a tiny bit. I think bit. this is like the third beer I've had. You know had what? I am getting it. clover honey. Are you? See, I, I'm not picking that up, but I am picking you up orange. You get a little clove smell? Up... I'm picking up orange. I'm picking up lemon. I'm picking up some, some banana. I'm picking up... Oh, maybe that's it. Maybe it's the banana that I'm getting. Yeah, like, yeah maybe it is. But clothes, like I was picking like the cigarette where like, it's really mm. in your face. Yeah, it is the banana I'm getting. It smells oh, really good. It smells Very excellent. oaky. A little touch of vanilla on there coming from the oak. 
it, it just smells so good. Mm -hmm. yeah, let's find out how it does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cheers, boys and girls. There's a girl. <sighs> boys and ghouls. That is a good golden ale. Uh -huh. That is really good. That is what that Sam Adams was in the middle. <laughs> we, this we is what I wanted from that Sam Adams. You just had to have two different beers. This is what I wanted from that Sam Adams. Yep. It was in the middle. That wonderful flavor. It's in here. You can taste the honey. It's weird because the finish. You can feel the, the finish honey. is coming off with honey. Vanilla and mm -hmm. wood, like the oak. The oak is coming off at the end. Yeah. There's almost no hop taste to this at no. all. Your finish is the barrel. Ooh. Just the barrel, really. Vanilla from the oak, oak from the oak, honey from the wine. A uh, little bit of bitter orange near the beginning, even. But the bitter that works. Like not the bitter to punch you in the face and leave you standing. It's strange, though, because I'm not used to getting the bitter at the forefront. Usually You're it's used at, to the getting end. It at the end. Mm -hmm. And this bitter is coming out at the forefront mm -hmm. and then fading off to a nice, sweet finish. The very first thing they talk about is sour cherry. Do you, I don't get cherry at all. I don't get any sour cherry either. No. And, and seeing as how I despise cherries, I normally pick it up see, right See, I away. was going to say for me, I love lambics and stuff like that. So, yeah. And sour yeah. beers and sour yeah. cherry is one of the flavors in a sour that comes out yeah. right away, like the Duchess de Bourgogne we did. Oh, yeah. And you're not getting that on this. Mm -mm. You're not getting... Ooh. It, it might be in there, but for me, I'm picking up other flavors first. But I can definitely and, smell the honey now. I mean, I'm never going to sit there and say it's just not there, period. No. Well, I, I might, but it's, I don't. It, it's in there. It's I, just, you know, I could 1 say it one night. It's but compared to 99% something else. It's still in there. Very, very safe introductory beer. Yeah. Introductory beer. Like, to get people away from the Coors Light and the... This, you're going to put someone onto flavor? something different? Like, as opposed like to, a, try as as like, to, like, the Duchess, you know, the first time you had the Duchess, I mean, if you're not drinking beers, that's going to be horrible. Yep. And that's a great beer. I loved it. And this, to me, is a very safe... And it's 7.5. Wouldn't knock you the fuck out, too, eh? It yeah. would. You'd drink this whole bottle. Well, you wouldn't. Know. I'm not getting any warm like from this, it at all. This no has, no like, more. the same... Okay, guys. Now, this is a Belgian Golden Ale. It was 4.25% alcohol. This is Sam Adams' Belgian Session. We did this earlier. This has some of the flavors this has, but again, this has the same burn this had yeah. at 4.25. Which is nothing. But these are all some more natural flavors. Like the, the, yeah, banana yeah. You're, the banana you're getting is not the candy banana. No, it's real. What's yeah. the price? The only thing I have against this beer is the price, which was ten ninety five, yeah. And that's why I was saying, if it wasn't in this fancy box... They probably could have dropped the price down. If it wasn't in this fancy box and it was just sitting on the shelf like this, this would probably be a seven ninety five or yeah. eight ninety five beer. Yeah. And at that, at a seven ninety five or eight ninety five price tag, oh. I would give it over a 9. Yeah. At a ten ninety five price tag, it's still, close it's, to still it. it's still a good beer and it's a big it bottle. Often. Yeah, it's a seven fifty mil. It's like a, a nice bottle. Now, it's, it's basically a wine bottle. This, if you're going to a friend's house for this dinner, this is a great dinner beer. You want to take this table with beer. you? Yeah. That's classy yeah, box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A, a damn page. good beer that says I actually give a shit about you, but I didn't spend sixty dollars on a bottle of wine. But it still says I give a shit. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And this would match nicely with a lot of There's, those foods. I can uh, think of some cheeses that this would go amazing with. Cheeses, chicken, the, that yeah. fucking chicken kebab I had today yeah. that, that Vanessa oh, and yeah. brought over. This would just enhance the yeah. nice fresh veggies right from their garden. Mm. But uh, yeah, like at ten ninety five, I'd probably give this an eight point. Mm. I'm going between an eight five and an eight seven five because I think it's really worth a nine, but the price tag just turns me off. Dude, a bit of it. Yeah, but you gotta remember the size of the bottle for ten bucks too is fair. Uh, well, eleven bucks. We'll yeah. Ten ninety five is eleven. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, the size of the bottle is a great price. But I mean, what where I'm looking at at this is what things can I get for less than that? I can get the uh, RP. True, yeah. I can get the RPA for six bucks. Yeah. This is wonderful. Out of ten, I'm gonna stay. With, I'm gonna stay with a nine. I mean, nine? I really like it. This, if I was going to someone's house, I think this would be an amazing gift to give to people instead of a bottle of wine for dinner. <laughs> Especially how pretty the box is. No, it's good. Classy. I still have, I still it's have tasty. the the BNL. I still have the box of the BNL in my yeah. apartment. Like, what would you give this? Uh, I'm doing eight seven five. Like yeah, the, two eight seven fives and a nine. Like this is a great beer. You got to make up a Belgian Golden Dan. No, because well, I'm the only one. So I don't no, know that's not how it works. Is if you give a nine. Well, that's easy. Golden shower on Chad. <laughs> <laughs> 
Thank you for being my friend. <laughs> we are apparently getting the Golden game. Girls. And that that's is all I phenomenal. Remember, so that's hey, all it I works. Mean, but that's our Golden Girls. The, 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 the Golden Ale dance is the Golden, golden Girls. Girls dance. <laughs> Thank you guys. Bye. <laughs>